Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome to Cardinal Quest 2, where we'll hack slash and rush the forces of darkness, assault castles and mountain layers to liberate all in this super sleek modernization of the classic roguelike formula. Guys, if you've been around my channel a while, you know that it's no secret, I love roguelikes. I've been playing Roguelands 2 and while waiting on an update, I decided to take a look at some maybe some other titles to play on the channel and I found this beautiful game by Randomite LT. I contacted them, they were kind enough to give me a key to try out for you guys today and I played about 10 minutes and I am in love. Guys, if you do like this video, don't forget to give me some dap on the like button and show you support for the series and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. I played about 10 minutes, I really really love this game so far and I'm just going to get right into it. So, let's go to new game. I had some difficulties recording it, so if there's any jump cuts or whatever, just let me know. My recording software didn't exactly go to it um, or work well with it, but uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying a different one now, and it seems to be working better, so we're going to go with that. So, there's a bunch of different classes here. There's the Ranger, the Wizard, the Thief, the Pugilist, I believe that's how you pronounce it, the Paladin, the Alchemist, and Random, of course. But... We're going to start with the fighter. That's what I played for the little while, and it seemed to work really well. Are we male? Yes, we are male. Um, we can't name our characters, I don't think, but... So we're just going to be Zul'jin the fighter, I suppose. Uh, there's some perks and some gear that you can unlock as you progress through in the game, like typical roguelikes when you do go through it and you die. Uh, sometimes you can unlock perks as you as rewards and go in the second run being better better equipped or whatever the case may be. So let's go ahead and create the character. There's uh, there's normal, there's hard, and then there's not LPable. <laughs> I uh, I'm I'm considering hard a little bit later, but right now we're gonna go with normal. There's also a hard code uh, hardcore mode, but we're gonna go with normal because I want to show you guys some of the game functionality and how it goes. So, fresh slaughter. The sense as un as familiar as it is unwelcome. So. A couple things to the layout of this screen right here. You'll see that upper on the upper right you have the map. You can expand that map by hitting the M key and it'll show you as you go. Uh, this is also kind of like the floor marker. Right now we are on I think the bottom floor and the job is to get to the top or vice versa. <laughs> so yeah, we're on the bottom right here and these represent the types of levels that there are. So. The four levels that we're in right now, I believe there's three forest levels that we have to go through for the, the first act, then there's something else, then there's something else, and then there's the last one. So it looks to me like forest, uh, maybe desert or sand, dungeon possibly, and hell. I don't know. Anyway, um, here's our stats right here. I can open up my character sheet or click left mouse button. Uh, to open it up, character is C, and that shows me the type of skills that I can get, and also my equipment and the attack and defense, my my various statistics, the time that I've played, the amount of gold that I have, and the class that I am. Then there's a little hot bar here that shows you this is my skill that the spot the fighter starts with, which is called Berserk. I can either use the number one key or I can just click on it and it induces a berserk rage that greatly increases your strength and speed. Gives me plus three attack and plus three speed. You can also hit shift and the corresponding key to use consumables. Right now we have an Ankh, which is a talisman of life, cannot be used directly. It basically will res you one time. A uh, full healing potion and a white, st a whetstone. <laughs> I almost said a white stone, which it sharpens and in increases the um, the sharpness of your weapon pretty much increases damage we're not going to use that on the basic though we'll unload we'll unlock all kinds of equipment all right so you move with w a s and d or by clicking the mouse as you can see the the, the cursor kind of moves around with me we're looking to find the exit and explore and gather loot and stuff like that so it's turn based in the fact that when you move enemies can move and you see one just alerted to my position pretty much there's some stealth elements and there's a lot of tactical elements so you'll see me doing all kinds of stuff this guy is a danger to us right now he is the archer the archer can attack by range and we're only melee so the best thing I could do is try to get to him as fast as possible that I think berserk is going to do good so I gave myself some speed and he just realized that I was here but I'll be able to catch him all right so I caught him now I could have used I could have just ran one at a time there's a couple bandits here, it looks like. I'm going to go to the right. You see how they move as they move? 
and you press towards them just to attack them or whatever. Now, things can flank you, they can hit you from the side. All of that stuff gives you tactical advantages and disadvantages, and there's also cover and stuff that you can get in the game as well. So we just parried, and we continue to parry. I hit him for three damage, and he's dead. So I haven't lost that much HP yet, which is great. There's also an item right here that you can see. I'm going to make for it because it may help me in the long run. And it looks like there's also a scavenger, which is kind of like the shopkeeper. There's a bunch of things that are starting to appear here. All right. All right, this is bad <laughs> because they're kind of flanking me. All right, that's a better tactical position. Much better. And what is this? Scroll of summoning. So we'll check that out in just a bit. There's some gold that he left behind, and we're clear. So, we took a little bit of damage here. Not too, too bad. What is the scroll? Scroll of Sun summons a powerful magical creature to fight at your side. So I don't think this is permanent, because <laughs> it doesn't say permanent, unlike something like this. Uh, permanently improves. So we'll, we'll go over this, and you found the spell. Stone Skin. Magic uses intellect. Hardens your skin, rendering you tough but slow. Recharges with intellect. So, spells are really, really cool in this game. You can pretty much use them on a timer, right? So, I'll, I'll give you an example the next time we go and use the skill. Let's see what the scavenger has. So, the scavenger is kind of like a shop. Every once in a while, you'll see these pretty much once on a level from what I've seen. And you can buy from them with the gold that you collect. Again, this is the gold in the bottom left corner of the screen. We have 115. And we can either buy this Potion of Rage, a blood frenzy induced by this potion, grows stronger with every direct kill. That's pretty cool. So if you're about to fight a bunch of things, that's probably good. Accurate Holy Staff. Uh, damage is 1 to 3. And which is, actually, we would get some attack, we would get some faith, but we would lose some damage. So, attack, I imagine, is your chance to hit. So, and there's also some breastplate, a vital breastplate, uh, which gives us like four defense points and that's available for 100. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this because I think it's a good deal. And it's gonna auto equip everything. You can tell that by going into your character screen and seeing that I have the armor on me now. Uh, when you do get an item that kind of overrides what you already have, it gives you gold and it kind of just throws it away. So we don't have anything but character slots here, so there's no inventory or manually selling stuff. Alright, let's explore a little bit. I'll try to talk less about what the game is about and kind of just play it now. So we don't have a whole lot going on in here. There's another one. So watch this. You can kind of tactically, you can also wait. I'm going to go inside this house just to make sure I have the best tactical advantage possible. I don't think they can hit you on diagonal, so I shouldn't worry so much about that. All I have to really f watch out for is ranged combatants and these guys, these are kobolds. So there's also like kobold mages and stuff. You really have to watch out for them. And sometimes they move twice as fast as you. There we go. So we did pretty good against that. Boots of Escape. Speed goes up by one. So if I trash this, I got five gold. But I'm going to go ahead and equip it. And it kind of gives you a comparison every time. Was this something? No, it wasn't. All right. We've already talked to the shopkeeper. Now you see how my map's filling out here? I can show you all a little bit closer. The map fills out as you go. So you'll see some open areas that you might want to explore and check out. There's a chest. Inside the chest is superb leather shoes. So, this is a good example of what happens here. Based on the type of character you're trying to build, you can kind of sacrifice stats and go if. If I was going for stealth, like a thief build maybe, or a stealthy build, I would probably go for stealth here for the lack of speed. But I don't think stealth is going to do a whole bunch for me, although it is a total point gain. So I'm going to do it, and it's going to give me 10 gold um, by taking it, I believe. No, five gold. So that was kind of like what I sold the other piece for that I wasn't using anymore. All right. Because stealth is kind of important because you can get backstabs and stuff. But it's not our primary focus. Okay. So, for instance, he didn't notice me yet. And that's probably because our stealth skill is a little bit higher. Also, you'll see in the bushes I have plus two stealth, minus two defense. And I can pretty much move or wait 
until I get a good opportunity for these guys to pass by. Once they pass by, oh, and there's always a chance they can find me, actually, but think if I would have waited in those bushes until he would have come around. And we just leveled up. Okay, open character dialogue, press C to spin a skill point. So, this is where the fun comes in. You can start to build your characters in different ways with the same tree. So, the fighter has kind of like a toughness uh, build that he can go with, impact, and precision. Now, you can use multiple ones of these. <laughs> I usually go for toughness first because HP and regeneration go a really long way. And uh, there's also stuff like impact. You could do more damage, which some people would argue that that's better. And also precision, you get more hit and crit. And then there's some abilities that you can get to. So let's go ahead and go with toughness. It says how many points we have to spend. That was the only one. And it kind of shows you what type of skill too, or what happened like this is passive. This is a skill. This is passive. So anyway. Now that we've got our character leveled up, let's move forward. So my map is filling out again. I tried to explore every space. By the way, the music and the sound effects in this game are absolutely amazing. I really, really love them. I hope they're loud enough. I didn't want it to disturb my commentary. Ha! Not half as good as my breastplate. So it just gave us gold because that, uh, that item was not good enough. Okay. So it looks like we're doing pretty good here. Let's explore this house. A reinforcement patch. Looks like a scrap of reinforcing material permanently grants plus one defense to your equipped armor. That sounds amazing. And I'm out of consumable spots. So instead of taking the chance of this going away, I'm going to go ahead and use it. And my breastplate just got one more defense. That is a good deal. And now we have a consumable spot open again. Uh-oh. Let's wait and attack. So they can't attack you in diagonals. Oh, this guy has defense out the wazoo, man. What is this? Warding cap of endurance. Plus one the health. Plus one the magic resist. Don't mind if I do. That's beautiful. All right. What is this? Oh, I can't. Oh, I guess it's just a scarecrow for decoration. And this is gloves of dexterity. Don't mind if I do. Wow, I got a plus one to attack. That's really good. So, so far we're doing really well on health as well. Also, when you use a skill, I haven't used many skills yet. That's all of them. Where's the exit? So now that's all done, I had stone skin and stuff. I tried to use these in, in bad spots or whatever, but I should use them a little bit more because there's a countdown. For instance, let's use Berserk. So Berserk gives us three attack, three defense, and you'll see my cooldown is actually going to, well, oh, there it is. Okay, so 14, watch, 13, 12, 11, 10. I can press space and wait, and basically each turn, my, my countdown is going to go down and my cooldown is going to go down and I can refresh. So let's check to see if there's anything that we missed. It's said to go look for the exit, but you know how that is. It's just saying that we've cleared all the enemies and I don't want to miss anything good. Because I value all this stuff, like this house for instance. There's the exit. I do want to check this out. Anti-Venom. Um, I guess that just instantly cures poison and stuff. So. That's pretty much the whole level. There's a little bit down to the left, but I don't think there's much there. It's probably just like some little alcoves like this. So we'll go through and it's going to give us the area cleared. It's going to restore our health and it's going to bring us to the second area. Pretty, pretty cool, right? Following the bandage trail, you cut a path into the thick forest. All right. And it looks like there's something here. Magic mirror. Oh, there's two guys after me. Let's use stone skin. Plus six defense, minus one speed. No problem. All right. That's going to mitigate some damage for me. Creates a duplicate of yourself to draw enemies away. Recharges with intellect. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and use that for number three. There's a bandit there. Stone skin, we're off. All right. Sampling vial. Use on live bosses to collect blood sample for the alchemist. Ooh, that sounds cool. All right, so we're at the point to where we have to drop something. What I think I'm going to do is go ahead and summon... Well, 
Let's use the whetstone instead. All right, now we have space for everything. So I didn't want to drop anything, and I wanted to do something that would give me an, a, a benefit, pretty much, so I just used the whetstone. Uh, oh, I can actually come back to it, too. Very good. Very good. Or, oh, no, did I trade it? Yeah, I did. How about this? Let's let's trade this for the antivenom and leave the antivenom on the ground, because I don't really need that. Wow. All right. Let's put a mirror right here. <laughs> they're they're fighting my guy. Very very nice. Oh, and that looks a bloody bone cracker. What is this? Plus critical. So damage goes up two to six. Speed goes down by four. I mean by two. But that's a good damage increase. I'm gonna take it. Okay, two wanderer, new highest rank. Very good. I guess I got uh, like a. Uh... Oh, he teleported. Um, I guess I got like a an achievement. Okay, I think I'm going to use stone skin here because I have two enemies. Thank. Goodness, I use that. All right, we got a ring. Intellect from eight to nine. Very nice, and let's see what we're gonna level up. Okay, we have the option to go with regeneration, which health orbs recover more health now, and that I think that's gonna be a good choice for us. Basically, sometimes when you kill monsters, they drop health orbs, and those will give you longevity throughout the levels. Like right now, I can actually use some. Stone skin wore off. This staff is not as good now. If we would be going for something that speed and faith would be good, it's a definite point gain, but I kind of like the ability to hit harder because we're a fighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and trash it and get 25 gold. Even though it's superb, it's a nice weapon, man. But, all right. What is this down here? Oh, just decor. Oh man, these guys are starting to hurt me. There's a health orb right there. I need it. Um, 35 stealth. I think points for stealth will go ahead and take it. And I just got the hit point increase from that orb. Fine. We do have a health potion that we can use too, but I don't think it's really crucial yet. Uh, let's go a little bit further. Okay, that's an archer. That's bad business right there. Let's go ahead and summon our mirror to preoccupy that archer. We'll get a little bit closer here. And try to get... Ah, oh, kill the archer. Good. All right. And I killed that guy too. Scroll of summoning. Okay, we got two scrolls of summoning now, uh, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I mitigated a lot of damage through tactics right there. I'm kind of proud of myself, you guys. Let's see what else we can get. If we go a little bit further in... Oh, this might be dangerous. Um, Berserk and Stone Skin. I didn't know if I should double use it, but now that I have a little bit more hit points... We can always recharge it. Uh, leather Vam praises. This brings up our faith by one, but brings our attack down. We'll go ahead and trash that for the gold. And see where else we can go in here. Doesn't look like there's much in this little alcove. Alright, I've already gotten it. Let's go here. And see what we can do. That's all of them. Where's the exit? Alright, so. Offering a favor to which... To call upon the gods, recharges holy spells, and heals 25% health. That's pretty darn good. Um, what can I get rid of it? Sampling vial. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of the sampling vial. I guess I can do. Let's drop this. Let's use the whetstone on what we have, and then let's pick it up again. Okay. So now we're full back on consumables. Now I'm just gonna quickly explore the rest of the map here. And see where we can go. Found the exit. Good. Let's make sure I can get all of the stuff before I get off of it. Or before I finish the map. I don't want to miss out on any good items or good equipment and stuff. Alright. And I'm going to heal up too. I think I did a good job mitigating damage again. 
Not bad. Now, this is only the second level, and we are on easy mode. But, you know. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this looks like a little something. Oh, no. It's just decorations and stuff. Alright. Uh, let's see. Anything major that I missed? I don't think so. There is something down here. Is that that item? Yeah, that's that item that I left. So on the map, you can see, like right here, this yellow. That's the anti-venom that I left, which I don't need because, well, I don't have any venom right now. <laughs> and I think all my other items are important. So we'll go ahead and proceed to the exit. And we'll get to the next level. Area cleared. Got healed. And what do we have here? Okay, another forest level. Hmm. Alright, bad guys. A couple of them. Let's go ahead and use magic mirror. And I'm gonna rush them. Oh my gosh. And berserk. Whoo! Anti-venom, don't need it. Alright. Shattered. Okay, my guy died pretty much. And I didn't hardly gain anything. I didn't hardly lose anything. Uh, Spyglass, examine an enemy to find its strength and weaknesses grants permanent advantage against that type of enemy. Wow, that's pretty darn impressive. Um, let's see here. I think we're going to put down the offering for this and use it on something. So, Black Widow, that sounds perfect to use that on. Okay, Black Widow, spiders have a nasty bite. I'll watch for it. Can now evade poison from spiders. <laughs> Wasn't that perfect? God, that's so perfect. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get the feather back. Yeah, we avoided it. Scroll of summoning. Oh, you can only hold two. I guess I'll uh, I guess I'll go ahead and use it. Whoa, he fireballed! And there's a sword down there, and I got a level up. Let's see. I think we should start going down another tree here. What's Frenzy? Upgrades Berserk. Okay, Frenzy lasts longer, and you will take less damage while Frenzy. That's pretty good, but minimum level is six, so we have to move to something else, I think. Uh, impact, we could do more damage. Precision. That's hit and crit, and then we can get charge, which is... Charge across a distance, that's pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and use precision. We're out of points to spend. All right, fine. Uh, long sword. One to six or three to seven. No, I, my weapon is definitely better. I'll go ahead and trash that. This is my little guy, an air elemental. That summon spell is a heck of a deal. Wow. Oh, <laughs> the air elemental disappeared. Bad timing. I'm going to use stone skin as well. What is this? Cloak of swiftness. It brings four health down, two down defense, but speed up. No, we're going to go ahead and trash that. It just looked cool. There's a health orb. A health. I should say. I said a health. Oh, reinforcement patch. Oh, this is a shopkeep. Oh, God, I didn't even see. I was like, what? All right. Scrap of reinforcing material permanently grants plus one defense to the equipped armor. It's pretty good. Superb lace breastplate actually brings down our defense, our health, but brings up our speed. Hmm. For health, I don't know. Current stat 13 with new item 13. Yeah, so defense is, is no different there. It basically just gives us more speed. So right now, turn time is 1.3. Ah, I see the statistics. Okay. How about this? What is this? This gives us even more stealth, more intellect, but brings down our health a little bit. So we'd be losing about six points for this. I think this is actually... I don't think... I don't know if that's worth it, guys. I'll tell you what. Let's just go ahead and buy the reinforcement patch. And I used it, and we're good. All right. I'm happy with that decision. Enfeeble. Weakens monsters and renders them 
less dangerous. Recharges with intellect. I like the sound of that. Let's put that in this slot here. So we kind of get in some, some magic-like skills, which is kind of weird for a fighter, but that's okay too. Okay, I already have one just like this, so we got five gold for it. Whatever it was. It's a little encampment. A little bit of gold and whatever that was, that magic item. Let's move a little bit further in and explore. Let's go down to the right first, because we haven't really touched that area. And... Oh, that's the same shopkeep. It looks like all of this stuff is pretty much... covered. Okay, good. Let's continue up on the right. Explore these little alcoves. Nothing there. Alright. I think we're doing really, really good on this run. Not bad for kind of like our first and a half time. I guess that's what you call it. One and a half times that I've played. I found the exit. Okay, good. Okay. I think we're running across some pretty good equipment, too. Let's try this enfeeble spell out. Minus three attack. Oh, I like that. It's out of range. Very cool. Naturally, I could probably play this a little bit faster when I start getting good at it and going through. But right now, I think it's going to have to be like partial runs. If I go through too... Oh, oh. If I go through too long, it might be pretty rough. Let's enfeeble this guy. And let's also use our magic mirror. Oh, our magic <laughs> our magic mirror actually kills too. What a great skill. What a fantastic skill. So you can see our intellect skill is based on how long it takes to recharge these things. Look like it was 41 turns, so that's that's a huge, huge, huge deal on what kind of skills you use. I imagine that the levels are gonna get much harder and that's gonna come with greater importance as we go through, you know? Oh my, I didn't even see that guy. That's all of them. Woo! Let's get the health. Not that we'll need it because we're actually gonna head out. Wow, man. Wow, wow, wow. And this is the anti-venom. I don't need that. We'll go ahead and drop it. And we're gonna heal up again, so shouldn't be that bad. I have a feeling the next level is gonna be more challenging. Now, as you can see, I've been climbing the ladder. We're on the green. We're about to get to another, like, section here. All right. So now we're in the town, but I know that the game's been going on a little while, guys. It says the runtime is like 35 minutes and 52 seconds. At any rate, guys, that is going to be it for this first episode in Cardinal Quest 2. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.